Hello. I guess Godzilla vs. Kong, the movie where a giant lizard and a giant ape settle an ancient old rivalry as humans build a giant trash can to wipe all of them out. I'm not sure if I ever did give my full opinion of this movie, but to sum it up, I really love this movie. My favorite MonsterVerse film by far. But with new movies comes new toys. And as we all know, Playmates is the main source for your GVK stuff. But there are other companies who have made stuff. And today I'm going to be looking at a Mexican bootleg company that made figures of their own. They have made several figures. Giant Godzilla figures, um, small ones, and even some bootlegs of the d figures, which look very nice. But today I'm going to be looking at a specific group of figures. I don't really have that much information on these figures, but here's what I do know. The package includes a Godzilla, a Kong, a Mecha Godzilla, or a Rodan. There are different variations of these figures as you're seeing on screen. These are very interesting bootlegs. I saw someone on eBay selling some credits to the seller, the Atomic Comics, and I got a Godzilla and a Mecha Godzilla. So, we're going to start off with the review with the main man, Godzilla. Here, you can see, here is our little kaiju friend. He has a few stats we will go over right now. He is about 4 inches tall. He is about, you can see, 8 inches wide. And then, 2 inches wide over here, too. He is... Pretty big as you guys can see and I have a comparison here with some other figures to see for yourself You can see the comparison here between the Playmates mini Godzilla the Jack specific Godzilla The Playmates Godzilla 6 inch figure and the Funko Pop Godzilla So all around he grew a lot taller and gained a lot of weight Now as we go into the sculpt and finer details you guys can obviously see that there is a big difference here And that's that for some reason this is based off the Godzilla from Godzilla vs. Kong, but he has the 2014 spikes and tail. I don't know why this is. I don't know why the decision was made, but it's a bootleg, so I guess I shouldn't be too surprised. Starting off here with the details and scope, you can see that he was made pretty well. I don't think this is a ripoff of any existing figure right now. For an original bootleg model, it's not that bad. You can see he has everything he always needs to have. You can see his gills, his neck, the teeth, which I'd say were kind of individually sculpted, but they were kind of just applied together. There is some thunder there for you. You have the top of the head. You have the chest here, which looks rather muscular and scaly, which I do like because you do have all of the finer details here. Um, You do have the hands here and I like how wide he looks you know he just looks intimidating here like he does in the movie I also like how wide he looks he kind of looks like he's in that one pose from the movie poster of Godzilla versus Kong I like how he looks like that he looks intimidating he's got his arms spread out that's how Godzilla should be yeah the chest was made rather well very nice you have all the scales and then you have all the spikes and scales on the sides here which are always the most important thing on Monster vs. Godzilla. His chunky legs, which I'd say were made rather nicely. But yeah, some of the details are smoothened here, so it's a bit difficult to see them. But those you can see don't look half bad. Spikes here that range all the way from the top of his head to the tip of his tail, 2014-ish. But I do hope to give him the 2019 spikes because they do fit and I want to make them fit. I'll talk about that in a bit later, so yeah, stick with me. The tail, I'd say, is rather nice, except this weird gap. But yeah, you have all the scales and the long whip-like end, and the bottom just looks rather amazing. Overall, an impressive sculpt. As for the paint, he's covered in this very charcoal black with some glosses, so it's kind of inconsistent with this figure. But yeah, for the most part, it is just pure black. But the teeth here were made with some nice whites, Eyes blue. Again, weirdly, the spines attempted to be dry brushed with these uh, orange and yellows. The yellows are kind of bright. The orange just kind of looks flat. Articulation here. Well, let's get into this. It's similar to the Jacks with just two differences. And you'll and if you were paying attention, 
you probably already know them. So you have a 360 swivel here at the neck. You have 360 swivels at the hands and arms. At the arms specifically, not the hands, my bad. And just like the Jax Godzilla, you have 360 swivels in two parts of the tail. The base and halfway up through here when the tail meets the end. Now the difference is are that there is no leg articulation, which really sucks in my opinion. Because I don't care if the 2014 Spax are here. I could just customize it, but it's these legs that... Well, oh well, it's a bootleg, so I won't bash it too hard. But in favor for that, you have a 360 swivel at the waist, which is very interesting. I was hoping that Playmates would make a similar figure. So aside from all that weight and the 2014 look, he really does look pretty great. And again, this one right here is not the only one you can get. There are different variants of this specific figure. I really want to get that Hollow Earth one. I unfortunately wasn't able to get it. But if I'm allowed to, I am going to try to get that one. Because that one is really nice looking. And it comes with an atomic breath piece. Uh, I'm not going to customize that one. I only got this burning looking-ish one. Because I thought this was the, how do I say this, least interesting to me. So that that way I could customize it to look more interesting. At least the spikes. That's all I want to change. Besides that, this figure is really great. It has lots of articulation, interestingly. The scalp's not that bad for a Mexican bootleg. And the paint? It depends on which one you get. But this one in specific is really not that bad. This is pretty much a really good bootleg. So I highly recommend the Godzilla. It's not... Half bad. I highly recommend the Godzilla, especially if you're able to customize it. So, all around, not bad for a bootleg. Good job there, Godzilla. Now, for the most interesting bootleg figure I have ever seen of any Godzilla toy, the Mecha Godzilla. Spoilers for anyone who hasn't seen it yet, but I'm pretty sure everyone who's watching has. In Godzilla vs. Kong, Mecha Godzilla is revealed to be a major threat and the reason why Godzilla is so agitated. And in the end, he shows up and is too powerful to be taken on by just Godzilla. And Kong is needed and they double team and take down the mechanical threat. For the design, a lot of concept art and designs were made. But ultimately, one was chosen. And according to Adam Wingard, above all these designs, it's the one that spoke out to him the most. But one design was liked among fans. And it's this one you're seeing on screen. It looks almost like a Terminator Transformer Mechagodzilla. But ultimately it was scrapped. I believe it's either because it was too similar to Ready Player One and they wanted it to be different or because it looked too much like the Terminator. And honestly, I like the design. I like the one more in the movie just because it's different than all these thick buff Mecha Godzillas we have. But it's still really cool. But if you haven't seen the comparison I'm making here, I'm saying this bootleg looks way too similar to this concept piece. Not exactly detail per detail, but it does look somewhat similar and it's reminding me a lot of that. Because when I first got it, that's the first thing my mind went to since it's not movie accurate. It could just be that this was done not on purpose, not to look like this piece of concept art. But it's still very interesting to make this comparison and I did want to bring that up. But anyway, let's continue with the review of this metallic king. Here is the mechanized terror being known as Mecha Godzilla. Our mechanical friend here is about the same size and length and width as Goji, standing just a bit smaller. If you want the comparison, here it is. Next to Godzilla, you can see the Godzilla just is slightly bigger than him, just by a little. So obviously, if we're going off accuracy here, this is zero. Well, it's 5% accurate with the red, the grays. But again, as said before, this is not based off the movie's Mecha Godzilla. It's based off of an original design, or coincidentally, it just so happens to resemble that one piece of concept art. But yeah, um, going over it, here are the mechanical details of our friend here. You can see his neck is very chunky. He has beautiful red eyes that were nicely painted. His teeth look interesting. They almost look monster-like, less machine-like. There's the side here, view at the body here, you can see that these details were all made nicely. You can see they went over the whole thing and did it. Here are the hands, very interesting design, 
Yeah, and the legs here, they're very chunky, just like the real Godzilla. Mm-hmm. There's that. We have the beautiful tail, which his curls. I'm not sure if that's on purpose or because it's warped, but either way, it's really cool. Here's the bottom pieces and the platings here. They remind me of the real Mechagodzilla. And the spines here, similar to the one we did get, except a lot chunkier. You can see they're very big. And the sculpt here is really good. The paint is an interesting part here. We have this very dark grayish color underneath. You can mainly see it in between the spines. There's also like a few blacks. And it's dry brushed with this beautiful metallic gray here, as you're seeing. It's all over the body. It's featured in a lot of parts and in some parts and pieces like here, platings on the tail. It's a very lighter gray, similar to Kiryu's gray. Then his uh, teeth are pure white, and his eyes and spines are all red. It looks very nice. It's not a very bright red, but it is glossy. So it does look beautiful, and I really like how it looks here on camera. It's very nice. So some pretty great paint applications. And looking at our fat mechanical kaiju, his articulation is the pretty much the same as Godzilla's. Yep, I'll just be going over that. I'll show it all. But it's the same as Godzilla's, essentially. His tail is a bit tighter. I'm assuming because he doesn't have the gap there. And then, yeah, there's that. I also like how it almost looks like a mechanized version of the 2014 Godzilla. One makes you wonder if they used Dagon's bones to create this beast. Really great bootleg. Whether or not it was inspired by that one piece of concept art, it still looks very nice, and it looks really cool. And even though it's not based off the movie, it's a very interesting design. And as, a, as far as I'm aware, this is the only piece of Mechagodzilla 2021 merch that isn't based off the movie's actual design. More or less either the original design or that one piece of concept art. Or maybe the people who made this Mexican bootleg thought that the real one was garbage. And we'll just use a mechanized version of the 2014 Kaiju. Regardless though, he's really great. And if you do want to know, he does scale good with the Jack Pacific Godzilla figures. So yeah, a really great bootleg as well. There is another variant, a pure translucent red one with gray, and a pure translucent blue one with gray. But yeah, this is a very nice piece. I like how big it is. It's very nice and shiny like an actual robot. And a really cool piece all around. I highly recommend this one. I recommend it more than the Godzilla. So yeah, these were really amazing bootlegs. They were very interesting indeed with Godzilla with the 2014 spines or Mecha Godzilla with a different design. But overall, these are really great bootlegs. They got a nice size to them. The weight is really neat. The sculpt and paint is fantastic. And they are, after all, action figures, so you can make them fight. So they're really fun to play with, especially with all the articulation they have. There is no limits to your imagination, so I assume you can do a lot with these figures. No, I can with my epic dioramas. Anyway, yeah, that's the review for today. Hope you all enjoyed. Thank you all for watching and bye bye. I will hopefully be back with some more bootlegs. Yay, bootleg.